Hello, Frozy! Nick Frozen Nuggets here, and I am doing yet another Mini Racers review. This one is on the Dark Ramps 3 pack review. And all of these are actually brand new for me, even though this one has been out for two years. I've never had, I've actually, ne I just simply never had the chance to get her. But again, this one has. Daco Cruiser Mirrors, as well as Daco Raps Lightning McQueen and Daco Raps Sally. Now, obviously, I do not have the mini racer of regular Sally, but I do have the Sally with tattoo, which is what this is kind of somewhat based off of. And, and of course, and then of course, the Daco Rap of McQueen. But uh, yeah. As usual, we'll take a look at the packaging first, and then we'll get into the reviews of these three. And here's the packaging. Now, obviously, this is brand new artwork for the Mini Racers. Brand new for 2019 and into 2020. And I actually talked about this when I first reviewed the XRS 3-pack, which I will link to the, in the description below. And I kind of alluded to my Metallic Rusty's Wraps 3-pack, which I will also link to in the description below. And they are, there they are on the back. Daco Cruise Mirrors. And Daco Rap Lightning Queen. And Daco Rap Sally. And there's, and they all, sh and the other four that they show are Gold Rusty's Cruise. Uh, Gold Ramon. I have reviewed that. Now, as usual, I will link to it in the description below. Metallic The King Strip Weathers. I hope to possibly get that. And in the XRS 3-pack, which I just mentioned, that I will also link to in the description below, as I said earlier. And actually, keep in, keep in mind about this, these prototypes of McQueen and Sally. You can see on their decals, on these sort of metallic gold decals, that they kind of have Danko and 51 on their sides. When on the actual Mini Racers, they only have the Danico logo, which I find a little weird. To be honest, I actually kind of feel like... Uh, I don't really know if I would prefer a Dinosaur, dinosaur in 51 on the side, or just have it be just pl or have it be just plain. I don't really know. But anyway... as a look at the packaging. And this may be my last Mini Racers review for the year. Since I don't have any more after this. But I will have some more 155 scale diecasts to review. And uh, yeah. Now obviously since these Danko Raps of McQueen and Sally did not appear in Cars 3. I'm assuming that this is from after the events of Cars 3. But I see Danko Cruz did appear in Cars 3 at the end of the movie. Obviously, she was honoring Doc Hudson with her number. Now, obviously, now obviously, I'm not sure if they're. I don't think they're getting reviewed diecast of these 155 scale diecasts of these two. But obviously, I do have the 155 scale diecast of Danica Cruz, which I will compare the mini to. So I'll put them to the back for a little bit. And. And you saw my review of the Rusty's Cruise three pack from last year. I will obviously compare her to that one. Obviously, they have the exact same expression. This one obviously is just simply going is full blown racer, whereas this one she was just getting started and she was sort of taking over for McQueen in the Florida Five Hundred. So obviously she has the Danico logo on her hood. She's got the dinosaur on the side, kind of looping around her rear fender. Danico 51. And it's a little hard to see, but... Oh, there we go. But actually, yeah, it's a little hard to see, but you can definitely tell that they're... Our contingency sponsors are the Piston Cut, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. Compared to the Rusty's one. 
which he did not have any contingency spots since that was just simply a paint job that Ramon came up with on the spot. Nice blue rims. Daco logo on the flares. Daco on the spoiler. And on the back, we got the classic Daco logo and the 51. And they're really hard to see, but she does have her yellow rookie struts to indicate that she is a rookie. Again, they're a little hard to see, but... They are right here and right here. They're actually a lot easier to see on the 155 scale diecast. And the other side is the exact same. And then here is the base if you're interested. M36, so this is made in the 36th week of 2019. Actually, I kind of forgot to show the back of the Rusty's Cruise. Obviously, she does not have any rookie stripes, so I'm so basically presuming the fact that Ramon did not have time to strap them on. Since, as he said to McQueen, best he, the best paint job that he could do in the time slot. <laughs> Which, I actually still give him a lot of props for. Coming up with such an amazing design in just a small amount of time. Like, <sighs> you want to talk about lightning, that's... That's basically lightning fast, man. <laughs> but yeah, these two look really cool together. And obviously, here is the 155 scale diecast of Danico Cruz Ramirez. I obviously reviewed this around the time Cars 3 came out, but this one's obviously quite a bit different. And she has the metallic blue decals. It's actually from the... Uh, Single of Danica Cruz with the tool card from the fan favorite series. This one's obviously loose, more so based off the May 1st release, but she does not have the window bars and just the regular blue decals. But other than that, they should be pretty much the same. Yeah, now, you, yeah, you can see why I was talking about how the rookie stripes are much more prominent on the 155 scale diecast, whereas here. On the mini, barely even noticeable. But you can still see that they're there. And as you can see, those contingency spots are a lot clearer on the 155 scale. Whereas this one, the white kind of blends into the yellow. But I see, I'm definitely glad that I finally had these two to have together. They definitely look pretty sweet together. So now for the two darker wrap. Uh, minis. So first off is Lightning McQueen. Now see, I do have the normal mini racers McQueen. Now the first thing you can see off the bat, other than the spoiler, is that he's actually a little bit of a darker shade of red. You can actually see that it's kind of metallic. Actually, real quick, I'll compare him to the Rusty's Racer McQueen. So he's not completely metallic. Like this one is, but that's mainly because it's like a normal red on top of sort of a chrome body, like right here underneath. Compared to a normal body, where right here you can see that it's red. Now it's the um, metallic minis, like this Rusty's right there, McQueen. He does have sort of a chrome outline for the body. But again, here, he kind of has that, mainly because of the gold or metallic gold Danica wraps on the back. But as he still has the classic Rusty's logo on the on the hood. Almost a spoiler. Same expression as on the regular one. And he actually does have the light year text on his tires. And oh, he even has the yellow trim on or around the rims, which I actually don't understand why they do that now because back then they kind of did not have those or did not have that text on the tires because that's actually also kind of the case with the XRS uh, minis which I also kind of alluded to which the McQueen that I was kind of alluding to in that review was obviously this one 
but whatever. And right here, you can see what I was talking about. The prototype, the sort of prototype of Daco Rat McQueen has the Danko, the Danko dinosaur looping around his fender at the number 51, which kind of, which, mat, which matches Cruz's decals. But to be honest, I don't really know whether I like it with that, with those decals or without them, but they still look cool either way. But he also has the Jacko logo on his spoiler. And actually on the back, I actually kind of like this, it's kind of funny. He has the Rusty's logo on the, on the back with make a bump ointment. And the Man Cave Bump Ointment is actually very centered, kind of like the classic Cars 1 McQueen, which I like to just pull out just for laughs and giggles. You can see how very centered it is. Now ignore the rookie stripe compared to, like, say, the Cars 3 McQueen. Well, it actually is still kind of centered, but you can kind of cover up the 95 and see how very centered it is. But, again, compared to that to the Mini... It's kind of off to the side because of the 95 right there. And then here is the other side, which is the exact same. And then here's the base, M37. So basically, oh no, Saint. So this is made a week after Danica Cruz, in the 37th week of 2019. So, uh, yeah. And then now for the Danica Rap of uh, Sally. Now, I do not have the regular Sally in the Mini Racers line. But I see, like I said with McQueen, you can't get the idea. She has a chrome outline for the base. Because it is sort of a metallic sort of deal. But since it's based off the Sally with tattoo jackass, I see I'll, I will compare her to the full size Sally with tattoo. I have not yet reviewed her because I want to get the 2018 Sally to sort of review along with her. But I see the first thing off the bat is that her shade of blue is actually a lot darker than this one. Actually kind of more so reminiscent of the... Silly me forgetting to bring her out. Of the original Sally from 2006 up to 2017. But it's actually even darker than that, even. But I actually mainly want to compare her to this one. Actually, first, she has a very nice happy expression. With the headlights, right there. And the Porsche emblem, or logo, on her hood. Same deal as McQueen, where she has the Danico logo right there on the side. And again, I don't really know if I want, if I like her with... The dinosaur and fifty one, like Cruz or without them, but either the but either way they look cool. And then she does have the Carrera logo on the back, and her license plate is from California and it says three hundred one PCE. I think the PCE stands for Porsche or Porsche. Three hundred one, I think it's someone's birthday. I think I can maybe I can maybe refer to Bonnie Hunts. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up after the video. Other side is the exact same. And here's the base. And 37. So during the 37th week of 2019. Same as McQueen. And as you see here is the full size. Sally with tattoo. Again I'm not going to give a full in depth review of her yet. I want to get the 2018 Sally. The Chinese Sally. Not the Chi Thai Sally. But you definitely look pretty cool together, that's for sure. Actually, before I forget, I want to compare the sort of gold Danica wrap parts on McQueen and Sally to the metallic Cruz Ramirez. And they actually... Uh, actually, they're pretty much the same metallic design. Which I actually kind of like. It's actually pretty cool. They were able to retain that sort of same metallic finish as the metallic cruise. Now comparing to the gold Ramon, for example, slightly different. It's kind of 
is noticeable, but it's still very slightly different. So yeah, yeah, it's more so similar to the Metallic Cruise. So yeah, that's it for my third Mini Races review. Already, jeez, I got, I got three mini races reviews pumped out like cheapers. And actually, no, I'll, for the full size diecast, here is Daco Cruise, Classic Cars Three slash Remembrance McQueen, so I'm calling him now, and then Sally with tattoo. And obviously, Sally with Tattoo was a single in the Radio Springs Classic line from Toys R Us. Which, thankfully, Toys R Us is coming back. Hopefully, they'll come back to my home city. As they've already opened a one in the mall, in a mall down in New Jersey. Hopefully, they'll open one here in the mall of New Ham at the mall of New Hampshire. But anyway, Toys R Us serve mini news aside. As usual, social media links are in the description below. Drop a like if you enjoyed this, and I will be reviewing more car stuff throughout the rest of the year. As of right now, I am pre-recording a ton of reviews. Today, on December 21st, As and again, I will be uploading these after Christmas, when the holidays are all said and done. And I will be just pumping out reviews, non-stop, throughout the for the rest of the year. Gonna end gonna be ending 2019 with a bang. So as usual, love it all you first to death, and of course don't forget to keep it rigid.